Also, this described it as a one to two hour story experience. So I assume it, it must not be that long. All right. Let's look. Where are you? Callum, where are you? You want me to look at this, but you're not interacting. Callum, oh. stay where you are. Am I supposed to be looking at it? Where did you go? Mommy. Did you get on one of the boats, you shit lord? Callum! Where did you go? Now it's Digimon. <laughs> can, uh, can you not get on? I'm, I'm pressing X and Rx, but there we go. There. No. Cutscene time. Hello? Okay, well, I'm on literally on rails. Hello? So I'm sure something spooky will jump out at me. But I don't think anything can kill me. Yeah, it can't be too spooky Callum? because, like, how could you dodge? Yeah, see, that's the thing is, I don't know if there's a fail condition in this or if it's just spooky. Yeah. Which I'm fine either either way. I, I would be perfectly fine narratively with not dying Callum, why did you go? and just being spooked. Near a great forest oh, I bet we're gonna get... A poor woodcutter. Oh, wait, this is the fairy tale thing. And his two children. Is this Hansel and Gretel? A boy named yep. Hansel. And a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or suck. Oh. I heard bite or suck. What and I was like, head? um, where's this story going? Hansel and Gretel. Hey, it's a hatchet. Oh. Like your necklace. Oh, I can't look at my books. Well. And abandoned them there. No, my wife. I bet this is like a metaphor for how I abandoned my boy. You fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents. Also, I gotta say, like, I realize this is not like Disney World or Six Flags or whatever, but this is like the lowest, like not even animatronics or anything. It's just shadows. And like, you can't even see it projected. The next morning. Woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, oh, what are you doing here? Them a slice of bread and no, them no, nope. no thanks. Oh, it's looking at us. Yes, it is. Clever Hansel leads no, a thanks. trail of white stones. No, hey, I just got a trophy for Chad. When their father I'm trying to keep it in the frame of view, like Kiki. Oh, this is far as left those go, so I can't look at it anymore. So I'm sorry. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's grieving. Uh oh. A scolding from their parents, yeah, I'm just not gonna look behind me right now. The children are sent to bed without any supper. The Ghostbusters moment. Hansel just nope, no one say anything. I'm just gonna go home. The door was just gonna do it. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself. The wife told the woodcutter. What if your son was in the suit all along? In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. All right, so I'm based on that. Ooh, I'm getting all spooked. I don't like Which that. I mean the character is. I don't remember Hansel and Gretel having ten hours of exposition before they actually got into this stuff. You know? Okay, since that was a trophy, I'm wondering if, like, if I pay attention, if I spot Spoopy Chipmunk. That's a different thing. Okay, yeah, since I cannot turn 100% around, this is my field of vision. Yeah. So... I already forgot where it said that dude would be. So, but it, I know it mentioned three locations. So I'm guessing there's a th there's two more where I could find shooting children. Chum chum stumbled into a yeah. clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Like my God, this said multiple it's fairy tales. Like this is just one. Yeah. And this has been like a hundred million hours. This has been forever. Like there's a difference between building suspense and just like I'm asleep. Just gonna pop through there. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. I'm just bored. Just... My house. I wish I, my, I could have looked down at my hand and just checked my watch. Yeah. Sniffing the air and 
Just like, we, we doing this? Am I gonna get murdered or not? Cause I got some shit to do. Also, like the audio would be overlapping if another bow was anywhere near behind this one. Yeah. Like these are not spaced out far enough apart yeah. for the audio not to be overlapping. And if it was like three apart, then yeah. you're not getting a lot of people through because this ride takes forever. I mean, the first area is just a huge fucking room. Yeah. Actually, we may still be in the same room as before. Yeah. If you look to the I left there, like, it. yeah. So. This entire time, someone is waiting in line to still go on this. Yep. What? Whoa. I don't want to look behind me. No, thanks. Not that I really can. I might feel the view. Are they just going to bend over your head? I mean, I can. this is as far to the right, and this is as far to the left as I can look. So yeah, so the, the only thing I can think is that they're going to, like... Bend down over you, and I don't want that. Wait, I'm gonna pause real quick. I'm gonna look at that trophy. I'm curious what Chad will tell me. I, I realize this might potentially have spoilers, but screw it. Okay, yeah. Oh, I forgot that none of these were really spoilers. It was literally just do this. I don't watch that. So apparently not everyone left the park. Because no one plays this goddamn game. Well, they... like, what, what shocks me the most... Yeah. Okay, so it only... The trophies are only ranked for people who have actually played it, so not obviously against everyone. But, so this means 99.9 .9 started the game, so point one downloaded it and never even opened it long enough to get into the park. Like, not even the, the ten, 30 seconds it takes to get to the park. They knew. They knew what was up. Okay, I had a conversation with Chad, and I can learn about Chad. Alright. So there's no secret trophies, so it seems... Chad. <sighs> Bring it, Chad. Uh, ah, this is so weird. Okay, to explain for you and anyone else watching this, when it's paused, if there's not a, a thing, you think you just press X to get back, but you have to move the arrow to summon the box to unpause it. But anywho, so... Uh, Still can't look behind me, so that that's great. Time passed, and poor Hansen refused to eat. Okay, yeah, that's the end of the eggs. I can see the exit. This is literally just Hansel and Gretel. Like, do they rotate through stories throughout the day, or what? You have to come back and ride it a bunch more times. Thank goodness I have Kagomi Adventures to sustain me right now. The opening is here. And she moved. Oh, now it's over on this wall. How is that? Oh, I have to turn my head to the left. What an action ride this is. And the old crow tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel. And together they lit a fire beneath. Wow, did they get light again? That is that is not nighttime out there. Like look through that arch when you get a chance. Yeah, it's kinda twilighty, noony, daytime. It feels a lot brighter. Oh, than it feels like we're going faster, maybe because we're exiting. Oh, oh that was oh, that is, that is not how that story went. <laughs> I mean that's a better ending though, is it not? Uh, I mean if you like kid cannibals, I guess. Well, I mean, she's a mean witch. She was gonna eat them. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you have to eat someone else. Oh, hey. Oh, no thanks. Hello. No, thank you. No, thank you. But imagine if it just went... Ah, whack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so it feels a little bit like... A little bit of sanity issues from internal darkness. Okay, so there's like no point in doing that other than the trophies. So I didn't find my kid. That was... 10 minutes of your life. I mean, I guess I got two, I guess I got a trophy out of it, so, okay. Yeah, San, okay. So Sandy stuff's happening. So that's something. I, I'm okay with that. 
Sorry, Sam. Yes, I can, Jason. Sam, stay where you are. I don't know where that is. Stay where you are. Hansel and Gretel. They still eat it to count them when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. What? Hand in hand against the unkind world. Okay. What? We were always hungry. I'm just going to sit on the bench and think about what you're saying here, lady. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach their claws. This is some sweet-ass DeviantArt poetry we're getting here. Like this if you cry every time. Alright, so I'm wondering if the whole point is I'm just supposed to explore every spooky attraction and then just get random sanity effects and eventually I get out. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Oh, uh, the, the, are... stones, the stones are popping into, into frame. Oh, okay. It's almost spooky. Which actually, like, as is, is you probably famously know, the hill, the hills, the fog in Silent Hill was graphical yeah. issues, but it turned out being... And then the remake... Destroyed yeah. it. Another accident. What? This place. Mm. This seems like a bad idea. Ooh. So now everything's gonna run to you? <sighs> God damn. The. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will go open on time. The governor's book to cut the ribbons. So the real question is whether we'll have any customers. I'm not truly worried the customers will come out of some curiosity. I deduce what was needed from the band writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a project. process. Henderson himself chose to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make this mistake. Sir. <clears throat> All right, so we're doing some voodoo shit, yeah. obviously, and that's creepy. And I'm surprised the bear isn't turning towards me yet, really. Yeah. Callum! That's not really helpful, kid. There's people out here. I get the feeling he's been dead the whole time. You're both probably dead the whole time. Yeah, that's a good point. Callum, why did you go? It's a goat. <laughs> That's what it sound like. This isn't a game, Callum. It's real life. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Is this another, like, <laughs> trying to get some confused French child to do voice acting? Sorry. I'm just quack, so... Quack, 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 quack. Yeah, because I'm so distracted because John Mulaney's thing. Too old to be a duck! Quack, quack, quack! This is like a known thing for an old Knickerbocker like me. Cause oh, you, you like a duckling! Too old to be a duck! Quack, quack! You know, the famous phrase that ducks say. Alright, so I get the feeling that I just have to go through the different set Come pieces. Down, yeah. And it's just going to be kind of creepy. Which, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't need to poop my pants every time. Okay, okay, here's the thing, here's yeah. the thing. They have a squad of people working for this game. And it takes you about an hour or two to play this. Uh -huh. Because once you reach the end of the game, there's a knock at your door. You open your door and someone just kicks you in the nuts and runs away. We like to call that the inside special. Yeah. Which would be awkward because I think that'll be ending of the series or whatever. Whatever, man. The guy just snapped. Alright, so I'm guessing somebody killed somebody. Kids. Uh, let's let's go sit an inch in front of this TV. I'm saying this is a big. I mean, it's not as big as your TV, but it's still a big ass TV. Like it, this would be awful. This is like a 55 inch, yeah. like 4K TV, and we both still have to like squint and press our faces against it to read it. Like usually, what happens, like Bioshock, you can turn on art subtitles, and like even though that's very readable, it would still like put it in text. Okay. So, statement: We were waiting for a turn on the ride. Frankly, and the boys, this fellow in the chipmunk gut suit is making an ice carving. That's not a good sign. Well, people took photographs, Lawrence wanted to go over them, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits that give me the creeps, that's still I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice, but at first we thought he was making some animal like a tiger or lion, but as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human... Dick! 
kind of sh shocked me. There's a human de- oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it was like, it was a, anyway, uh, human face smile at <laughs> the block of ice, but the more you looked at it, the more you saw there was something not quite right about the proportion, something unnatural, like, that made your heart beat just a little bit faster, like you were a prey, and the thing in the ice was on. Slow your roll, guy. And then these teenagers walked up, and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit, and then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground, and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick, and blood was spraying, and people were screaming, and Frank and I had the kids, and we were like, I, this is turning into the Ellis voice, and this one time, I saw this guy ice picking this other guy to death. Ellis, sweetie, is now really the time. None of that has to do with the space rooks, no. They're scarier than anything you would ever know. Space rooks, they'll pick you up and throw your space rooks. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> this is the word. <laughs> Awesome spy, awesome spy, awesome spy, awesome spy. Clowns, they scare me a lot. Where did you